What's up, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube world? This is Chris, a.k.a. Barnon11970. Thank you for checking out my video. All right, guys, we're going to continue the series of videos about making more organic type of products, which are going to be so much healthier for your body, for your family, and just overall getting rid of chemicals that are in all the products that you get mainstream. So today's um, video is going to be about making... 100% all natural and all organic honey lip balm. Now, that may not seem like a big deal, but if you know store brand products with the lip balms, they use things like either Vaseline or petroleum and a lot of harmful chemicals. And I don't care how careful you are applying that to your lips, you're going to get some in your mouth. And the last thing you want to be doing is ingesting harmful chemicals. So the lip balm that I'm about to show you you can technically eat it if you wanted to because every single ingredient is good for you and is actually things that are 100% consumable. So it will not only moisturize your lips the right way, it will not have any chemicals, and it's technically all edible. So I'm going to show you how to make it. So the first thing you're obviously you're going to need is a couple of teaspoons, some measuring cups. You are going to need a pot. I'm going to highly recommend you get a pot with a lip because if you're pouring this, especially if you pour it into a chapstick or a lipstick container, um, it's not going to be a lot of space. So the last thing you want to do is have it spill all over the place. So if you don't have a pot with a lip, I highly recommend it or at least pour it into a measuring cup. All right, so let's get into the ingredients. And of course, I will post um, all the ingredients and how much you need in the description box below. So you'll have that information right there for you. Now, I'm not going to be promoting any specific products. I'm just using the ones I have. If you have other companies or you prefer other brands, that's up to you. I'm obviously just not going to buy 50, of, 50 different varieties of the same product. All right, so the first thing we're going to start with, I've used this in several videos, and there will be several more with this. This is organic coconut oil. This is extra virgin oil, and you could see right here, USDA approved organic. Not only is this good for things like soap and the lip balms, but this is also something you could cook with. So if you're going to be making, like, for example, French fries or um, fried eggs, instead of using butter or using regular oils, which are, you know, genetically modified products, you could cook with this. And it has, strangely enough, a very buttery taste. So if you make these with, for example, fried eggs, you're going to taste the difference. So it's going to be much better for you. So you're going to start out with two tablespoons of the organic coconut oil. All right, the next, and again, I'm buying these in bulk because these things will last for years. Some of the products last forever. So you don't have to buy in large quantity like I do. But if you want to be making these for future times, buying in bulk is going to save you a lot of money in the long run. But it will be expensive up front, so you can, again, buy smaller quantity. This is organic sweet almond oil. This is a one-gallon container, and again, you could buy them a lot smaller. So you're going to add two tablespoons of the organic sweet almond oil. Now, you're going to be putting everything into this pot. Okay, the next you are going to need, and again, you could buy in smaller quantities, this is organic beeswax. You want to stick with organic, so this way you don't have to worry about anything processed or any kind of chemicals in them. It's just going to be better for you. It's going to cost a little bit more in the, in the beginning when you're buying everything. But again, when you buy in bulk, it's going to last for years. So do what you think is best for your family. So you're going to take four teaspoons of the organic beeswax. Okay. The next we are going to use is a vitamin E oil. Now, be very careful what brands you buy because this right here, as you can see, this is vitamin E oil that is so pure that you can actually put this on your food. It's high. It's 100% ingestible. So this is very good for you. So this is, I don't know how many other brands there are that actually have the vitamin E oil that is so pure that you can actually consume it. But this is Nature Bounty, so that might be the one you want to check into. Don't just get any vitamin E oil. Obviously, they'll be all good for you, but especially when you're putting something on your lips, which is obviously things that could get in your mouth, you want something that's going to be edible. So that I would recommend you're going to use a quarter teaspoon of the vitamin E oil. Okay, the next. 
aloe vera gel. I've mentioned this one before. And again, this is a product I'm actually going to mention by its brand name because this is Lily of the Desert. This is all natural, organic, edible aloe vera gel. So this is very good for you. And again, something that you can even put in your foods and it's highly nutritious. So again, something you're putting near your lips, you want it to be something that is actually good for you. So not all aloe vera brands are edible. That one is. Okay, next piece. Oh, and that's a quarter teaspoon you're going to use for that. Okay, this, if you have not researched organic hemp oil, I highly recommend you do. As you see on the label, it is considered an organic superfood. This is very good stuff. And again, something that you can actually put on your food and is 100% ingestible and very good for you. So you're going to use a quarter teaspoon of this, and this will last for years. You refrigerate this once you open it. Same thing with the aloe vera gel. Um, and then last but not least, now, before I mention the last product, you're going to take all of the products except for the last one that I'm about to mention. So you're going to take all the ones that I just mentioned, put them in a pot, heat it on medium heat, and just keep stirring it until everything dissolves into liquid. So the beeswax will probably take the longest. It'll probably take about four or five minutes to uh, warm it all up. Don't put it on high because you don't want to burn anything. So about a medium setting, keep stirring it for about five to ten minutes. And then once that's done, you're going to shut off the heat, you know, keep it there, and then... And again, you can buy in smaller quantities. This is real organic raw honey, unprocessed, unfiltered. It's not going to look like the regular honey you see in the stores. It's going to be a lot thicker, but this is natural honey. This is the real stuff. 90% of the honey that you see in the stores is not even real honey. It's manufactured honey, which means that they don't have the, um, the, the, the healing properties of real honey in the manufactured stuff. So you think you're buying it and it's good for you? It's not because it's missing the beneficial ingredients that are in real honey. So you're gonna take three teaspoons of that, add it to after this has been shut down and starts to cool. Now you're gonna, I would recommend a hand blender if you have one, because it's gonna be a lot easier to mix everything. Otherwise you're gonna be spending about 10 minutes to mix everything because it is gonna take a little while for the honey to melt into the other materials so you're going to keep stirring it until it basically shows a nice golden yellow consistency so it is going to take a little while so i would recommend a hand blender so once that's all done you're going to take either you could take your own uh empty lip balm container you could buy your own they sell these empty in the stores or on ebay or you can get the little tin can little things that you can use to you know you dip your finger in and place it on your lips but basically, as you can see how small this is, that's why you want the lip. You're going to pour it in. You can put it in the refrigerator. And then you will see that when you're done, let's turn this up. Voila. Actual chapstick. Well, not chapstick, but lip balm. And since every single ingredient... I guess except for the beeswax, but it's organic. But pretty much every single ingredient is good for your body. A lot of this stuff is very edible. So something that you're putting on your lips, you don't want the harsh chemicals. You don't want to have any kind of toxins that could potentially get in your, in your mouth. And this is going to taste like honey. It's going to be very sweet tasting. So I highly recommend wearing some of this if you go on a date, see what they think. And... Um, Again, if you buy in bulk, you are going to save money in the long run. So in the beginning, it's going to seem like you're spending a lot of money because obviously organic products are going to cost a little bit more, unfortunately. But for the amount that you could make, these ingredients that I mentioned, and you could see nothing more than three uh, actually two tablespoons of anything. That's the biggest amount that you're adding. That will make about 20 of these tubes. So if you don't want to make that many, you could cut that in half. So as you can see, you don't need a lot of product to do this. So hopefully that helps you guys. It's going to be fun to make. They're good little gifts to make. It's something you could do with your kids because with no chem harsh chemicals or anything, it's 100% safe for your children. So you can make this with your family, uh, give it out. 
So if you do make them, let me know how they came out. Let me know what you think. So please give this a thumbs up and share it to other people. So this way we can kind of get it out there that we have to stop putting all these chemicals into our body, which not only pollute our body, but it pollutes the water supply. It pollutes the planet. And I'm trying to do my little part to try and make things better. So if you appreciate that, thumb it up, favor it, share it, um, let it um, be seen with some friends. And if you're not interested in making them, I actually do sell them on my website. Um, I have my web store, and I will post the link on where you can get them. Obviously, you don't have to purchase from me. That's why I'm teaching people actually how to make these. But some people may not want to buy everything or just want to cook, and it's a lot easier to buy it already made. So that's up to you guys, but... I don't mention that until the end because I want you guys to know how to make this. So again, I'm going to post all the ingredients of what you need in the description below. I hope you guys have a great time making these, and I'm going to have a lot more videos to come, and we're going to eliminate a lot of those harmful, toxic chemicals that we may pay less for, but we pay for in the long run with our health. And if that's important to you, this is something that you're going to give a try to. So check out my other videos. So far, um, I have organic toothpaste videos and organic soap videos to teach you how to make them. And uh, I'll have more to come. So thanks for watching, guys. And happy making. Peace.